So I just made a video, also I fixed this. I just made a video showing off how to, how to do what we're about to do here, but I'm gonna show it just because that way it's being like, you know, it's being a bit more transparent. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not being like, this is sneaky, sneaky stuff. Look, I happen to find this. This is me saying, hey, I'm, I'm doing this specifically because it is so annoying to find this. I don't want to, I don't want to spend the time. I don't have the time. I have a job. I don't have the time to just run around this world trying to find some stuff that's optional, that's only necessary if you're doing not doing that great, you know? Also, the Dradon stuff is kind of annoying to get, so we're going to get some of those as well. But this is me saying, hey, this video is going to be kind of a, like a, a filler episode, probably. Might not find any bosses, might just get the, uh, the Blood Moon going. But I'm filming that at the same time as the last one. So it doesn't feel that bad. Uh, so yeah, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be experiencing the glorious wonders of, dude, this guy's still spinning. I need to make more houses first. I'm gonna make some more houses first, and then we're gonna go and find all the shrines so that we can have those items for when we need them in the future. Um, and keep in mind, we have, uh, we have this mod. Um, let's look at, let's look at Luxor's gift. Okay. Crap. Maybe not? Wait. Am I crazy? Alright, this goes into this, it goes into this, goes into this. Yeah, yeah, so we have we have Fargo Soul. Fargo Soul mod, so we're gonna be able to make these. I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna make them. We're gonna make them because we want to. We wanna be overpowered at the end. It'll be fun. So we're gonna be making those and some of the Luxor's gift stuff goes into uh let me let me find it. Let me find it. Uh it's like element. What's it called? Uh, let's search gold. It's called enchantment. Okay, enchantment. So we're gonna look at enchantments. So like, let's say we wanna get the enchantment for, uh, it's like mushroom enchantment or something. No, it's not mushroom enchantment. I don't know what it's called, but there's an enchantment that uses some of the modded stuff because it connects with Actually, it might not. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. So, like, Victide Enchantment. I'll just go with this one. Oh, it has Luxor's Gift in it. Okay, so Victide Enchantment uses Luxor's Gift. So, Luxor's Gift has late game potential, being the fact that it's combined with other enchantments. Uh, it combined into enchantments, which is very nice. So, we have, like, reason to be getting this, other than just the fact that, like, oh, my early game will be better. I'm going to need this in the late game. So, what I have is, on my other screen... We got OBS obviously, but we got our uh, we got our glorious T edit open. This is the world, as you can see, no ocean. Um, we've already found this, so I don't really care. And we obviously know that there is a dungeon over here, but we're gonna be finding stuff. Uh, just just to be transparent, like we're gonna be using block find. So I'm gonna find uh, steam. Let's find the steampunk chest, since I know where that is. And I know this is only one, so it finds all of them, okay? And then I can double click on it and it finds it. So it's right there. So now if we zoom out a little bit, we can see Steampunk Chest is right here. Instead of having to search this whole desert and spend like maybe an hour doing it, we can go straight there, grab it, done. If they add an item in Calamity later on, I'll use that item. But until they do that, until they add that, until the devs do that, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not dealing with this BS of like, hey, it's it's somewhere in your world. Good luck, lol. I'm uh I'm gonna find that item. The uh the the only way that I know how when I have a limited amount of time to play a game. So we're gonna go grab Luxor's gift and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have some fun, you know? And if the uh if the if there's no bosses that happen while we're going and finding this stuff, then I'll probably just cut all of it. Just to show you like what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. Um I'm literally just gonna mine straight down to it just because you know like we're not we're not wasting any time here I want to get this stuff so that we can continue on our adventure if that is all right with you because it's all right with me this is definitely like like a two on the list of like how cheaty does this feel feels like a two out of ten two out of ten not very cheaty Especially since we've already got to wait for some merchants and stuff and all that good, good, fun, exciting stuff. And 
we also gotta wait for a blood moon to continue. I missed it. <laughs> like even with even with knowing where it is, let's be real here. Even with knowing where it is, just because there's no item or anything guiding you directly to it, I am gonna miss it a bit. And then I'm gonna have to go around. I'm gonna have to find it specifically, but we found it, so we're all good. And then boom, we got it. And now we can go on to the next one. You know, we gotta go on to the next one. I'm not using this to find anything other than the stuff in the shrine chest, because I don't care. Uh, frost barrier we might want. It's for our Tesla, so. Gimme, thank you very much. Ooh, a mysterious cape. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We need we need Arc Tesla for the Arc Tesla stuff. So we need two of these actually. We need to think big brain, big brain ahead of time thinking. Uh, we'll also grab this. I'm curious for the stopwatch. Am I able to go more than the speed limit? No, I still I still travel at the speed limit even though I have the goat's hoof. Good question. Like that was something I was curious about and it got answered. Uh, I do not travel so fast that I am faster than Sanic. Alright, so we've already got this, which is very nice, because we want that. We're actually going to equip this, because it makes our it makes our weapons kind of busted, which is nice. I didn't even realize this, but we can direct which way the orbs go. But this is for, like, all of, all of our attacks. Obviously, the faster attacking ones make it kind of busted. And uh, certain weapons make it so that you can, like, reset the swing by just resetting your fire. But, like, it's a nice little addition so we have a little bit more damage. Like I said, it only does 25% damage, but 25% is 25%, let's be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's very nice. We've got that now. So we're going to go and get the other shrines, and then we'll just see if there's anything exciting going on in this video. If not, we'll, uh, we'll force a blood moon somehow. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So... Yeah. Let's get mysterious. Why not? Why not be mysterious? Why not? Alright, so we got the uh we got the symbiote, which is nice because I'm gonna have that over this panic necklace for now. Uh but what that does is it basically makes it so that some of our true melee weapons will have these spores that are behind them and the spores are busted as you can see they are very busted and it's nice it's nice to be able to have that <laughs> rather than not having it especially with a weapon like this like it changes it so it's like here let's get rid of luxor's gift so like you can see that the spores they generate to a specific spot but those spores on like certain weapons will be a lot better than others they kind of just leave these tracks behind that make uh, PvP, like, uh, not PvP, that make fighting with true melee quite a bit nicer. And they do linger for a little bit, which is, uh, which is very nice. But yeah, having all this, like, semi-range stuff on our true melee is very nice. I need to buy a battle potion, because I want to fight King Slime as soon as possible. So that I can continue doing my thing. And destroying the universe. Hopefully, King Slime will spawn in a reasonable amount of time. Are these homing at all? They are. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. I think our tiny little prismatic stabber is, uh, is the best. It's super, super powerful, as you can see. I don't know how many how many of these we're gonna have to kill to get King Slime to show up, but uh, we're gonna do it, and I'll be back when King Slime actually shows up. Because uh, you know, ooh, Pinky. Here, let's see if we can destroy Pinky. Let's destroy him, and he's dead, busted. <laughs> so it seems like, as as you know, like the proc coefficient, which I've gone over a little bit. Right here, we can see with the weapon we're holding our proc coefficient. Also, our damage taken multiplier has uh, has increased by 2%, by the way, since we've killed another boss. I assume it's based on how many bosses we've killed. Uh, but our proc coefficient with this weapon, the Sunshine Sword, uh, sorry, Sea Shine Sword, not Sunshine, is 100%, which means that we're procking it like a decent amount since the number of hits we have, like the, uh, the Luxor's Gift and the Fungal Symbiote both have a chance to proc it. Obviously, they will proc a really weak missile because it's only 300% of 
like the four damage that we're dealing instead of the 20 damage. But our proc coefficient on something like this shank, which has a higher attack speed, only has 46% proc, and our damage is a little bit lower, and we have like we have less hits actually happening, or less high damage hits happening. So even though we have a higher probable chance based on our attack speed to land these uh, these procs, we have bigger damage procs happening with this weapon just because we have that increase in our DPS. So like we could hit an 86 times three, so we could hit like 200, 200? Yeah, like about 200 damage hit, which is kind of busted. Um, or more than 200. Which is a lot better than hitting like, let's say, a, th a 30 damage uh, proc. So yeah, going with a weapon like this is definitely a bit better. Sadly, this the slime rain has gone into the night, so we're having to deal with multiple enemy spawn types, which is not fun. But I mean, it is it is what it is. Can't change the time of day yet. All right, he spawned. Woo! We got him. Okay, let's see what kind of damage we can do with the shank, just to see. I mean, that's okay DPS. But then we switch over to something with much more consistency. And we're gonna get some better DPS. Sorry, the boss music is kind of breaking just because of the calamity. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Obviously, King Slime's gonna be a cakewalk since we've already got some. Oh, you can break this? What the heck? I did not know that. That's a cool change. Can we hit our rage mode? Oh, we already had rage mode. I did not realize. I think it should shake a little bit when you have it. Just to let you know that you have it, because, uh, yeah. Our DPS went up a little bit when we used it. Alright, let's place our banner over here. Just, uh, usually the middle of the map is where I go to to try and have our little, uh, our banner farm going. So we got all our banners for different things that we're going to be fighting. And we'll just have, like, you know, damage buffs and everything for when we actually fight an enemy there. Uh, let's see what we got. Um... First of all, we got the dead man's foot. Now this item I was contemplating not having, but it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Uh, similar to the panic mine, it drops a mine. This one's poison at low health or after taking significant damage for four times 150% damage. So it'll deal, it'll tick four times and it'll deal 100, 150% of our current weapons damage. So let's say we have this weapon out. This does 26, so it'll do 150% of that. If we had this weapon out, this does 35, so it'll do 150% of that. So that's how that works. Um, obviously, they have to hit the mine for it to go off, but... That's obviously going to happen. So we got that item, and then we're going to open up the treasure bag. Didn't get the full ninja set. It's totally fine. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll manage. We did kill a pink slime, which is cool. Slime gun solidifier is necessary for later. And this is just necessary for a soul. So we're just going to keep it for later. I'm going to buy some bombs. Just because of bombs. Maybe like a hundred and something. Turn them all into glorious sticky bombs. Everyone's favorite. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll continue the shrine hunt and see if anything else interesting happens. But that might be it for this episode. Uh, we'll, of course, have a little outro, maybe do some uh, some blood moon hunting before we leave. But uh, yeah, that'll probably be it for now. Hopefully, we'll find some more shrines within a decent amount of time and get to show off the cool new items or the cool, cool accessories that they have. All right. All right, so... <laughs> We actually got some really crazy luck. Uh, we found the thing right above us, which we're going to be going to in a second. But I got the Zealous Rally. Well, it just I got a rally. So we do, in fact, have a yo-yo now, which is very nice. And we got our Goblin Tinkerer. So we're going to buy our important items from him, as well as the melee level meter. Because with the melee level meter, we actually gain more, uh, more stats from it. So we can have that over the, probably the Luxor's Gift, because it's giving me a little bit of a headache, not going to lie. Uh, so we're going to have that. And now we're going to head on up here. 
I don't remember if I need multiple of the green mushrooms. I might I might have just needed them for like uh, crafting some stuff in in whatchamacallit? In risk of rain mod. So I probably won't need them anymore. Oh, this isn't like a main one, it's just a tiny little mini one. That's fine, that's fine. Um I put myself in a little bit of a pre predicament, but it's fine. We do need a lot of dubious uh, materials, so... Or we will eventually. So getting these now is definitely a good thing. We got some circuitry. And then we got the inability to, uh, to mine like simple blocks, just because we're so afraid of one enemy. Thank you. We made it, don't worry, don't worry, we made it. Uh, in here, uh, we need these. So if you don't know how these work, this will be a nice little thing to uh, to inform you on. Oh, we did get some, we got some suspicious scraps, which is nice. Uh, we got another one of these, and then I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna head back because we did get the Goblin Tinkerer, even though he killed himself by just being in the worst spot ever. Um, we are going to drop these in there. We're gonna drop that in there, that in there. We're gonna toss all of these except this. Actually, we're gonna keep some of these just so that I can show you like what we're gonna be making. So for these, we wanna have them basically in a nice little area. Uh, I'll probably put them right here. But what these bad boys do is they charge up some stuff. I forget exactly... I honestly forget exactly how they work. I think these generate... What are they called? Charging station. Okay, so this charges our weapons. So we only really need the one, honestly. So we're going to put the other one away. And I'm going to put this one right here. Just so that it is right there. Actually, I'm going to put it up here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to put it... Sorry. Indecision. Lots of indecision happening. Uh, but so basically, the circuitry, which we can get infinite from armored diggers, which is like <laughs> really far into the game. Uh, but basically, what we're going to be making is stuff like this. So the code breaker base. We're also going to be making uh, so that we can research some weaponry. And then the weaponry can go from anywhere from like, like this. This one is like a post wall of flesh we weapon. And then we also go all the way up to, let's find like what, the best, where's the really good one? Um, it's not that. Is it that? Is it the mounted scanner? There's a really cool one uh, for, for summoners. It might be the pulse turret remote. I'm not entirely sure, but there's one that makes like lasers above your head and the lasers just destroy everything you can get like five or six of them or obviously you can get like eight of them with all the summons oh my goodness squirrel with a hat squirrel with a hat squirrel with a hat Whew. thank goodness all right so squirrel with a hat is like busted <laughs> i love how we could turn it into a oh my goodness yeah 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 so like you know busted Who knew this squirrel had phenomenal cosmic power? Uh, we're going to put him in a cage just because, you know, he's a squirrel with a hat. Uh, we'll make some glass. I think it's just called like a terrarium, right? Terrarium? How do you make a terrarium? 16 glass? Okay. Terrarium. And then we'll plop that bad boy in there. You know, we, we can't miss up an opportunity to have a glorious pet. Like, you're not going to see very many of those, you know. Got to get them while you can. Uh, but anyways, so stuff like the suspicious scrap. Uh, it's used for, like, special weapons. So I guess it's only used for one special weapon. I didn't really know that. Um, but it's just a rare material, so we might as well have it. Uh, but yeah, so the dubious plate plating and the mysterious circuitry are pretty much the same thing they're basically just your uh your bread and butter but the first thing we're gonna make with this i'm pretty sure not that 
I think it's this. Yeah, yeah. So once we get area light, we can use some C prisms uh, to craft that up. And it does some decent damage. 29 true melee damage. Uh, but it does say like whether or not you're capable of crafting it. So if we made a code breaker, which we're going to make now. So if we made a code breaker, which we do not have, we do not have enough materials to make it. So we make a code breaker, we place it down. We put some stuff that we found in a specific area. So there is one that's right down here somewhere. Oh, it's like right there too. So it's like right around here somewhere. And it's not like, it's not this, it's like an actual like base of operations instead of just like a little outpost. And that'll have some research in it that we can decode. And using that decoded research, we can make some weapons. So it's basically like a side quest, side quest based, uh, you know, in cool and interesting weaponry that we can get, which is, uh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice. But yeah, uh, that'll probably be it for today's episode. We did a little bit. Oh, we also got the Arcanus, which I did not realize. Which, uh, if you did not know, <laughs> the Arcanus is kind of busted. At least with Luxor's Gift, it's kind of busted. All right, so we got this. You know, it only shoots one, but if we click, as fast as you can click is as fast as it'll shoot. If you set up a macro, you could click so many times per second. Uh, this type of weapon that's like single slash uh, multi-hit um, is kind of busted because it has no reset animation. It just, it just goes. So you can get some serious damage off with that. That's obviously why they changed it, so it's only 25%, but, I mean, it's kind of cool. Alright, so that's it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, hopefully we'll fight some more bosses, too. Hopefully.